Hello, you your host, Reese here, and here to proudly present to you our eighth installment of our all new 2021 Christmas trick videos. As it is, this one here is our part two, our last set of eight. So, what are these eight? As it is, I'm about to call up our first one on our part two. That is for our first one, um, to our ninth placement, the trick there, which uh, I had to call the Magic Floating Spirit Cane trick. Here's what this one will look like. So here I got is my uh, candy cane that I, I hold. Watch. Let this let go. That magically hovers over the scarf. How is this trick done? As is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what you'll be needing to get the candy cane here to hover over the nice holly jolly red silk. Here's what you will need for this. And that is what you'll see just right here. You will be needing is a nice holly looking red silk. You am gonna fold up to create like a pad for the candy cane. This is what you'll see this right here. So the candy cane itself um, has something that's allowing it to float and stay in one position. And that is what you'll see just right here. This is a coat hanger um, that is fastened to the candy cane, the back of it you see right here, by packing tape. And then over here now, it is curved and has a good space to you know, put your um, had in just like this. That's what's allowing the candy cane to rise up and stay in position and to have it to float. So it looks just like this. With this piece here, you're going to is just put it into your your long sleeve shirt just like this. And then go like that. So it's in the back right here, going into here, and it's just like this. What you want to do is you're going to take your uh, silk like this and place under it like that, and hold it like this. Make sure that the silk is kind of up. That way, it disguise it disguises and um, blocks the wire from here. That way, when you move away, it looks like it's just mysteriously suspended in space and floating, um, like on the uh, holly red scarf you see just right here. What you want to do is hold on to the candy cane like this. Tip: Make sure you do this in a slight shade, with with only a little bit of a lighting. Why? It helps to disguise it even more. That's that. Also have like a busy shirt. You can see how busy my shirt looks? So that way there will help the, the, to, 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 to disguise this a little bit too. That way all they see is this. So you're going to uh, come out holding to the, can the candy cane just like this with your fingers as it would when holding on to a candy cane. Going to is is uh, tip your hand like this, and then still hold on to the, the uh, candy cane. All you gotta do is just let go of your fingers, put your hand over it, and move away. And by magic, it floats and stays suspended in space and hovering over the nice holly red silk. You see, just right here. After that's done, take your hand. And go in like this. Be careful not to touch back here. Going under like this. Going to use your hand, 
or finger. I can go like this. Like that too. To sell and give the illusion a more natural setting. And shows that um, the Anakin is completely suspended. Makes a cool a visual trick that you can do. Give it up for the magic floating spirit cane trick. There is a do the trick to it. Turning us down to our trick number two and on part two, our tenth one. That is the Jolly's Magic Growing Santa Milk. Magic trick. Here's a, th this one, Will. Looks like. For this, I'll just be just right here where Santa is. For this one. Ooh. Look. Now, I'll just milk inside here. And we got a candy cane. Watch. Very closely at the milk. Watch it rise up and grow. By magic, it fills the glass. Cheers to that one. So how did I get the Santa milk to fill up into the cup? As is I'm about to reveal. The Holly Jolly Secret to you right now. Here's what you'll need to get the milk to fill up in the glass with a, a candy cane inside of it. Here's what you'll be needing for it. You will be needing is not real milk. This is how the, the bee is a white foam. Very easy, and it folds in very nicely. So there is your milk right here. It looks just like this. It's cut in the shape of a plastic cup, like this. To go with it, you, you will be needing a little bit of a tissue paper to go into the back of it, just like this. Why? Because, because it'll help with um, holding the candy cane up and um, giving it depth. Like this. So take your, your candy cane and place it in the back here. This will show as the milk rises, um, it will show the depth of it as well as the volume of the milk filling up in the cup. What you want to do is push this down like this and pinch. Hold it right there. Like that. That way you can see the candy cane is just like this. You're going to is um, take the pressure off very slowly as you move your fingers up like this. Let's slow. You can see if I let slow low here, you can see it starts to rise up. But get your hand involved, move up like this, or if you want to go. Go and you'll do a little bit of magic by waving your fingers over like this as you are doing that. Be very slow at it. And by magic, just make the Santa milk grow and f fill up in the cup with the anakin in the inside of it. You see, just here. After it's done, give off the Christmas holiday cheers. It's a very sweet one because it involves, involves the candy cane and the well-known Santa milk. And that right there is how you do the Jolly's Magic gr uh, Growing Santa Milk Magic Trick. Cheers to that one. It makes a very good, uh, a, a cool one that you, that you can do. Very simple and very easy to do. To our next one, we... Get to, 
to our trick number three. And on part two, number 11. And that is the Holly's Magic Candle Rope Tube. Magic trick. Here's what this one will look like. Here's the performance. Okay, so here I got this um, nice um, gift tube. You see this here? I got my lighter. I even have a candle, a nice red candle to go for this as well too. And I got this nice rope that appears to have a knot in the inside of it. You see, just just, just right here. Am I gonna? Am I going to take it off? We'll see what can you do with this. You see, I got holes on the sides here. Okay, I'm just gonna gonna go and um. Just uh, take one end of this and feed this in just like this. Like that. I'm gonna thread this in like this. Hole. What I'm going to is just uh, pop this in just through here too. Just like that. Okay. So now yeah, I got that inside there. I am good to go. Go. I'm just gonna actually just gonna just see if it's gonna just uh, fasten it inside there. The um knot is still on to it. I'm going to is use use this and see what I can do with. The rope with the knot in the inside. Watch this. Okay, it's going to just take this. Watch what I'm going to do with this. What did that do? It just took off the knot. How is this, uh, this one done? Is this about to reveal the secrets? This one here will definitely bring the light and Christmas magic. Here's what we will need to pull this one off. This one here is an actual magic trick that I turned into something very Christmassy. All you'll be needing is a um, metal tube, wrap it with wrapping, pa wrapping paper, and get a bow onto it, and then drill some holes into it right here. Nice and big for the rope to fit in. Then what you'll be being next is a lighter. A candle. And a um, red or yellow musician's rope you see just right here. Okay, what you want to do is do a slip knot onto the rope before. Like this. What you want to do is have the knot like this. So, this is how to do this slip knot. It's very easy. Go through here after folding it in and giving it a pull like this. You're gonna pull it, it one of the rope ends like this. That way it looks like an actual knot. That way it, it evens out and turns into this. So here is your knot right here. 
what you'll do next is sew the tube and the holes. You're going to is thread the um, rope in just like this. And you'll just go through the hole like this. Make sure that you sew the knot here and place it into the holes. Make sure, sure that the hole in the tube is big enough to actually put it in. And you're going to actually, is as you put it in, you're going to actually slip this out very quickly like this. As you put it in and pull on it like this. That way you can even it out. They're thinking that the uh, knot is still on that rope, but it's not. It's just like this. This here gives a, a trench way to pass the candle right through, like this. Like that. What you want, what you want to do is place it onto your table and give it a light with the lighter. Like that. You're gonna hold, but be very careful as you go in like this. Like that. By magic, it goes like right through the rope and goes right through the knot. Pull onto the candle on the top and pull out, out like this. Or to get out on the bottom or on the top is entirely up to you. So it is done. Pull out the candle. And then just take the rope and pull out like that. And by magic, the rope, the candle goes through the rope and the knot magically vanishes. You see, just right here. Makes a very warming magic trick you could do for Christmas holidays. Because it involves a gift tube, rope, a red candle and a lighter, and that's all you'll need for this amazing epic magic trick. And there would definitely bring the light in with that one as well. And that way, there's so you do the magic trick to the Holly's magic candle rope tube magic trick. <laughs> and just here. I appear. And that right there is how you do that magic trick to it. Hope you enjoyed the one because there definitely will definitely eye wide some eyes with that one. Okay, down to our next one we get to. It goes into the wrapping paper of it. Not any wrapping paper, a magic one. That's been enchanted by what? Christmas magic. To our trick number four, we get to. And on part two, number 12. That is the magic light pack from the wrapper as a trick. Here's what th this one will wrap like. As it is, I'm gonna have to go and get some wrapping paper. You see? I just got this really nice looking um, holly red wrapper. You see? Just one. I'm going to just give this a, uh, give this a fold, just like this. Just give it a wrap, just like that. We'll see what comes comes out of this. But wait, I think I need, need a candy cane for this one. Any 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 candy cane? A holly jolly candy cane. Watch this. This video show, I'll grab a candy cane. There we go. Watch this. Let's move this wave over like this. We'll get that Christmas magic inside here. Merry Christmas.
and Happy New Year's. Holiday cheers. So what that did. Let's go into the wrapping paper. Look. I get Christmas lights from just an ordinary gift wrap. I'll show you. So how did I get the Christmas lights from just an empty wrapper? As is about to reveal the secrets. Oh, there you are. So here is what you will need over here. You will be needing is Christmas lights for the Christmas tree, or for on the ceiling inside your house or outside. Get a pack. They're pretty cheap. You can find this in a local hardware store or in the mall. You just need one pack. And then you'll be, be needing is a candy cane or a sweet cane magic wand. Wrapping paper is the next one. All you want to do is Create a pocket back here. Make sure it is big enough to fit in your um, light pack by placing it in just like this. Like that. You want to um, double side the uh, wrapping paper like this. So here is the space right here that has the um, pack in the inside just like this. You're going to hold that so they don't get to see that. All they see is the wrapping paper. What you want to do is give the wrapping paper a fold first. Like this. And say, I just got a nice hunk of wrapping paper. You can see to unwrap it just like that. And so, the front and so the back side that there's like nothing inside of it. All you gotta do is give it a fold, back up again, just like this. Fold the other end just like that. And then what you're going to is take your, your candy cane here and wave over it like this. Good tap. You can see, you can see any word you want with that one. All you gotta do is uh, just go into the, where the pocket is, making sure that they don't see this. What they get to see, I'll definitely surprise them as you go in and by magic pull out Christmas lights from an empty wrapper. You see this right here. After it's done, place the lights aside. And open the wrapping paper like this. And so, front and back. There would definitely make a great master trick that anyone could do. It's very simple, very easy, because all you'll be needing is the gift wrap and your Christmas light bulb pack. And that right there, so you do the magic trick too, the magic uh, white pack from the wrapper magic trick. Here's a, a, a really a, a good one that, that you could do that would definitely surprise everyone with th this one. And one, it goes into Christmas baking into a tin, a cookie tin. That does any cookie tin. A gingerbread man cookie tin. To our trick, we get to at number five. And on part two, 13. That is the Merry Christmas Magic 
cookie tin trick. Here's what this one will look like. Here is the performance. Ooh, because here I got his uh, cookies inside this uh, Merry Christmas uh, gingerbread man tin. And you know, this too is just to uh, take my uh, candy cane here and I'll just wave over and see what I could do with the cookies. Check this out. If I just just uh, open, open it, I the lid. I'll just reach in and I'll grab a grab a cookie. Oh. <laughs> Where'd the cookies go? They disappeared. But what happened here? Oh, well, I pulled out instead. A gingerbread man with a Santa hat on it. A very holly jolly one. Uh... Is that moving? Do you see that moving? Watch carefully. Because I swear, I saw... I thought I saw it moving. Whoa, I just used a candy cane for that one. I got to. <laughs> so here is a definite sweet one. How's it done? As is about to reveal, this thing behind this to you, right now, all you've been needing for this is candy cane. One, two, you'll need is a cookie tin, a nice, fest a nice festive holly jolly one that has the uh, holly, holly green and red and frosty blue onto it and the lid. You can also put on a nice bow onto it, you see this right here, it's making it like a present. What you want to do is going to stuff this in to the cookie tin. This is pretty simple. What you're going to do is you're going to preload it in just like this. Like that. And get the lid. Make sure you hold on tight and put on the lid like this. Make sure that you have a nice, good, tight grip onto the, the uh, cookie tin, like this. You can sew the uh, cookie tin off. You're going to is uh, get your your candy cane and wave over it, as you're saying that this has cookies in the inside. So you're gonna play on it. It has cookies in the inside. And with this candy cane, you'll do Magic with it by waving it over and going like this. Merry, Merry Christmas. You can say the words ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. Nice, jolly word for it, too. Open it up by holding your thumb like this and having it up towards you, placing the, the lid down, reach in, and say, I'm just gonna go and grab a cookie. Going to pull the center hat up, I guess, as we reach in for the cookie, like this. Act surprised that you pulled something completely interesting out of it. Back into the tin. Where are the cookies? What happened to them? All I got was this. Then you're going to do is a Christmas. Magical twist using your thumb and this one like this in the back. Because after it is done, you're going to act oblivious to it first and just turn your head away and make it move. Look back, move it again. You get a glimpse of it. You're like, oh, did you just see that? Just see it move. Do it again. 
So bring some te some a teasing here with this to um, sell the, uh, the trick. Then you're gonna say, oh, I just use a candy cane. Wow, there definitely brings the magic of Christmas with this one. And that right there, there, so you do the trick to the Merry Christmas Magic Cookie Tin trick. You can also turn it into a prank if you want to. Makes it come on you could do for Christmas holidays and of Christmas holiday cheers. To our next one, we're gonna che uh, a cheer into. Our trick number six. And on part two, our 14th one. And that is the doubling over smellow cups. Magic trick. Here's what this one will look like with this. I'll see you back to our Holly Jolly tricks table. Interesting. I think I might use that for a magic wand for this one. Okay, here. Oh, what do we have here? Let's take a look. What happened inside here? But nice, colorful marshmallows. Cool. Now that's that. I only got this a little bit inside here. I wonder if we could actually um, just. Uh, Double that up. Just watch us. Actually, just to take um, this right here. I'll just uh, place it into my um, pan right there. I'm going to is uh, get it back up again like this. Okay, so here I got it just right here. I'm going to actually take this. So the candy cane, I'll use this instead. Nice ornament spindle. Watch. Go see what that did. What? It just. Doubled. Interesting. How's this one done? I'm going to show you this is done right now. All what you will be needing is two of the same cups. No gimmick cups. Only two of them. Here I got these nice holly jolly festive ones. You'll be needing is a small portion of some marshmallows in the inside of one cup. Get a bit more of these and put into the other cup. Like this. By magic, I make it disappear and end up back into the cup. Again, so I'll put this into the cup and place this one um, down next to your lap. Next, you'll be needing is a plate with a nice piece of napkin onto it, you see? Let's see here. And then you'll be needing is a nice serviette. You see this right here. Like right here. Down here. And you're going to start with this. I'm just going to show the cup that there is only a little bit inside here, like this. And the, you're going to is um, show it and place it into here as a covering of you putting this down aside and then picking this up 
That's why I want two. Like that. So you can hold on to it in the back of the serviette. That's what you get to see. What they can see is the, uh, only that one cup. After it's done, pull this away like this and show in the cup like this. Make sure you get the sun. That way you don't get to see this. You can take, take a candy cane if you want to or something like this vintage spindle ornament you see right here. Wave over and see any Christmas words like Oh, Christmas tree or something like that. So, uh, something, something, something like that. And then all I gotta do is you're gonna go into is you dump it like this. Well, showing it coming out of the cups like this, right onto the plate. When it's done. You can see that it has it, doub it doubled in size. You see this right here on the plate. Makes it very holly dry suit movement that you can do. And that right there, so you do the magic trick to the magic. Doubling over Shmallow Cups magic trick. To our next one, we get to, to our trick number seven, and now part two to our 15th one. And that is the Santa's Magic Pop Mix trick. Here's a, this one, Will. I look like just the performance. Ooh, look at this nice uh, holly jolly festive plate. It has Santa on it. I wonder if we can do some magical with it and this popcorn. Let's see this right here. See, I got all my my up my up popcorn in the inside here. Now that you can take a look. That's the festive it has stickers on it. I wonder if we can actually make some magic with my popcorn and with this. First, we'll need a, can a candy cane for this one. And here, I magically appear right to the tricks table in a unique way. Here, I have a candy cane right here. How about we can actually is by this. We can make the magical happen with my popcorn. Watch this. Let's say the words. Ho ho ho. Merry Christmas. We'll see what that did. What? Whoa! Look inside of this! Look! I got Holly Red, Jujube, Ivy Green, and these rainbow candy canes in my popcorn! Sweet! Quite the jolly mix. So how do I do this mix? As it is about to reveal all the secrets. All you need is a popcorn sleeve box and put some nice festive stickers onto it. You see just here. What you'll be needing is a candy cane. You need is, is popcorn. You just see over here. Um, and some rainbow candy canes to go into to the mix. Then you'll be needing is red and green jujubes. You see this right here. They'll go into the mix. What you want to do is you're going to take these and put them into your popcorn box. Just like this. Get all in there. Same with the uh, rainbow, the rain, rainbow canes. You see this right here. Get them all in and preloaded. So they, they go in first. Then after, popcorn goes in to hide to hide them. I'll use elf magic to get the rest inside. 
Now, again, inside here. So you're gonna set off with it, pull it into here, like that. At that side, as now you need a nice festive plate or a platter. What you're going to do is take your candy cane, and you can go over it like this and say a few um, festive magic words. Like, um, like, um, you get to say the ho 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 Merry Christmas, or say Old Christmas Tree, or, um, Powers of the Christmas Tree, or something like that. What I get to do is after, dump your popcorn out like that, give it a little shake, go on top like this. And just rise the candy canes and jujubes, whatever you have, on top. Make sure they go on top of the popcorn. That way the pop popcorn is the, is the bed. And then the candy canes and jujubes go on top of the mix, you see? Just right here. There brings a holly, holly jolly mix with this one. And that's how you do the trick to the magic um, Santa's pot mix trick. What a holly jolly mix of one. And now we there as they do the trick to it. Down to our last trick we get to. Which is to our eighth one, our 16 tricks. Here on our summit eight. If you enjoyed watching of our summits one through seven, coming up after this will be our ninth installment. The trick title here is what I like to call the Festive Magic Holly Mat. Magic trick. Here's what this one will look like. Him back, so you look at this nice, very looking, interesting looking serviette. This time, I'll use my spindle for this one, my uh, vintage ornament right here that goes onto a Christmas tree. You see that there's nothing here, but I actually make some baking appear on here. What's that? Maybe. Gingerbread man. I wonder. The actually is gonna go like this. Use my, my um this for a magic wand again. Like I did be, like I did before with like this. Okay. The magic of Christmas. You'll see what that did. Just to pick up this watch. By magic, I get gingerbread men on the mat. How's this one done? I'm sure this is done right now. All you'll be needing is this nice can of cane looking Yule log like napkin. Either a candy cane for a wand, if you a candy you want to. <clears throat> or this nice vintage looking in, um, spindle like ornament that goes onto a Christmas tree. You can see? This is where the uh, thread goes, right there. Go onto it. What you will be needing is two of the same cut doilies and put some nice um, um, gingerbread. Man cuts. I just made that move. Cool. And put it onto one doily and just stick it down with some hawk. What you're going to do is put this on top. This is the same as the other one. So you're going to place this on top, just like that. And you are good to go. So this place on top. All you got to do is simply just pick this up. Like this. I'm gonna cover, but keep this down first. 
You can use your candy cane. Or this. Say anywhere is like Merry Christmas. Make it to pick heaven. Let's pick it up just like this. And drink right like that. This now goes into the lap. And there, let's give this a fold. Now by magic, because it's magic, you make gingerbread men on the mat. And now we there, so you do the magic trick to the festive magic holly mat. Magic trick. Those who see you all back for our